When I first saw Star Wars as a kid, I was blown away by the size of the Death Star. I mean, it was an entire man-made moon. That's not a moon. It's a space station. More recently, however, I learned how big the Death Star really is. This is a yoga ball. And if Earth was scaled down to the size of this, the Death Star would be as big as an airsoft BB. This is the destroyer of worlds. Mm. Mm. We never get to see any Star Wars spaceships in any sort of physical context, because they're always next to like planets or in outer space or next to arbitrary sci-fi cities. So that got me wondering what they would look like if I put them in places you're familiar with. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm gonna do with the goal of helping you understand just how big these spaceships from Star Wars really are. It's actually kind of crazy how many iconic ship designs emerged from the Star Wars universe. Ah, the Millennium Falcon. It's about as long as a Boeing 737 and stretches three times further than a city bus. If this thing was parked on a highway, it would take up seven lanes of traffic. Talk about a traffic jam. Thanks, Han. And the Imperial at at which honestly, I don't really have much to say other than I just wanted to render it on our street. <laughs> okay, enough of them small fries. Let's get to some big ships. The Imperial Star Destroyer is 1600 meters long, which coincidentally is the same length as a mile. So funny enough, it actually doubles as a pretty good unit of distance here in America. It's also interesting to see it next to the tallest building in the world in Dubai. It's like a giant mile tall skyscraper, which actually gives me an idea for a future video. So uh, hit that notification bell for that. For our next ship though, we're gonna have to dip into the prequels a little bit. The Trade Federation Battle Station. You remember it, that ship that looks like someone took a bite out of a donut and then spat it back out into the middle. <laughs> Come on, it does look like it though. This battle station is over three kilometers in diameter, making the Imperial Star Destroyer basically the radius of it, like the hands of a clock. And of course, Anakin saw that ship as a kid and was like, meh, someday I'm gonna have a ship that is 19,000 meters long. And he was right. A super star destroyer called the Executor ended up becoming Darth Vader's flagship vehicle. That was indeed 19 kilometers long. It was 12 times longer than those wimpy little star destroyers. What are those? Starships for ants? I say it was longer because if you've seen Return of the Jetty, you'll know that it crashed into the Death Star like a freaking lawn dart. But all right, I know you've been waiting for it, the Death Stars. How big were they? Well, the first one was 120 kilometers wide, which is legit pretty dang huge. But as I've said, it's just like nothing in comparison to an actual planet. Oh, and the last Jetty actually introduced a massive beast of a starship that was Snoke's flagship vehicle. This thing was 60 kilometers wide. So literally Snoke's ship could be the radio of the Death Star. What is up with Star Wars and their obsession with making ships that could be radii of other ships? And hey, at least it had the coolest death of any Star Wars ship ever. And that brings us to the second Death Star, the one that never completed construction. According to canon, it is 160 kilometers wide, which is 33% larger than the first station. I always thought it was the same size as the first one, but no, apparently it's bigger. However, remember that lawn dart scene? The problem is that you should be able to clearly see the curvature of the Death Star. The lack of curvature actually indicates that it's about 900 kilometers in diameter, which is massive! It's so big! However, I need more examples than just one to really convince me that it is is larger, so I'm gonna stick with the officially stated size. And the biggest on our list is the Star Killer Base from The Force Awakens because it is 660 kilometers wide, making it the largest station in all of Star Wars, according, according to canon. I always thought of it as an actual planet that was simply repurposed into a star-sucking weapon. Instead, we're left with something that takes up 34 times less volume than our own moon. Maybe we should actually be complimenting the First Order on their ways of making efficient weapons. But like, for real though, that thing destroyed like five planets and a star. And the thing I found most surprising from making this video is that all of the smaller ships, like the big smaller ships, they seem massive. And yet the ones that actually are massive seem kind of quaint. Anyway, this video gave me a whole new perspective on the universe, and I hope it did for you too. In fact, if you know anyone who could also use this new perspective, consider sending this video to them. And thanks for watching. I hope my name pronunciations didn't trigger you too much. <laughs>